in lab 31 chapter 3 um, we're doing a goal seek exercise at the end of this assignment in part 3 now step 1 of part 3 is really just asking you to mess around with the numbers to see if you can come up with um, see if you can come up with results that you're looking for that is legitimate that's maybe what you would do um, as a manager looking for ways to improve your um, profit and so forth but Excel has built in goal seeking abilities so part one is messing around you can kind of ignore that one when you're looking at part two um, in fact what it's telling you to start with something fresh don't even save what you were goofing around with in step one but in part two, we're going to use the um, what if analysis and the goal seek. So that is under the data tab, what if analysis and goal seek. So the um, item in the book, page 181, says to determine a margin that would result in a year eight net income of um, $1.5 million. So if we want our net income in year eight to be $1.5 million, we have to tell Excel what it can use to make that change. So there has to be formulas involved so Excel can help figure out how to do that. So our directions say um, that we can determine what margin would result. So we're setting cell I-19 to um, 1,500,000. I don't know if I have enough zeros in there. 500,000. And what we can change is the margin. So we'll come down here to B27. And that's the cell that can change in order to help us make a little more money. So I'll hit OK. And you kind of watch Excel work. And it turns the uh, margin into $1.5 million, or the, I'm sorry, the net income. And you can see that it changed our margin to 30.34 from, I don't remember what it was now before, it was 20 something. All right, so that's how managers and planners and um, business owners use Excel to figure out how to meet a certain income need um, and by uh, changing their margin in this case.